getting a cramp I'm so sorry uh, welcome back to another weekly vlog it is Monday it's in the middle of the day but this is gonna go at the start of the day it's currently 5 47 I'm gonna go pick Ned up from his meeting and when he comes to his meetings on Mondays um, I just go into Starbucks and do a little bit of editing there which you guys would have or would be seeing in the vlog but good morning to you guys good afternoon to me well night time to me um, another weekly vlog I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update before everything you, that you guys see in this video so this morning morning I woke up and I'm so sorry TMI but like my channel is all girls legitimately um, yeah so this morning I got up and you know how like when you have your period oh my god I miss going to the gym I'm just going past any time fitness right now I miss the gym I know I have a gym at home but like I genuinely miss going to the gym anyway um, you know how like when you have your period and you're just sitting down for too long and you get up and you just feel like a gush of something just like come out of you that's the that's that's what I got this morning right and I didn't think anything of it I just thought surely I didn't we like I did not piss myself I just didn't piss myself right now anyway I rushed to the toilet because I was already busting which is why I thought I kind of you know weed myself and the morning before that I had a little bit of spotting which I rang my doctor went to an ultrasound emergency ultrasound nothing was wrong they even checked my own kidneys because I had a really intense cramp on my left side just in case like something was wrong with my kidneys nothing's wrong absolutely everything is perfect she's moving a lot more than usual and um, yeah it just feels like I've just got a lot of pressure on my left side and then from my left side it goes into like waves and then I feel the pressure on oh god hello there we go I feel the pressure on my middle like in my uterus in my pelvic area even right now as I'm talking I can feel like waves of pressure and waves of like mini cramping and when I was at home the cramping came to a point where I wasn't able to stand up I just had to oh wait no <sighs> Yeah, I just had to uh, sit down and like hold on to something. Oof, that was that was a big one. Um, so I don't know when this girl is due, but if you remember a couple of couple of months back, if, especially if you follow me on Instagram, I was talking about me mixing up the dates with my midwife rather than giving her the period day that I had my past period. I gave her the date that I missed. So when you think of it that way, and you're calculating the baby's due date. They've given me, obviously because of my fault, they've given me a date which is um, a month after I'm supposedly due. So when I say I'm 35 weeks pregnant, in reality, I could possibly 30, be 39 weeks pregnant, if that makes sense. Because um, my missed period was in June and the period that I had before we conceived her was in May does that make sense so it's like a whole four weeks so I could be 39 weeks and she could be due one thing that confuses me is cramping number one which you guys literally just like witnessed one and the second thing is the water what was that fluid like it wasn't a big amount of fluid but it was like the period flush of when you'd be sitting down for two hours you know well that was a very interesting intro into the weekly vlog i'm feeling nauseous i haven't been hungry which is why my last what i eat in a day i literally only ate two meals a day when i'm a person who has six meals a day That's i'm a person who has six meals a day and lately i've been having one or two meals a day i'm not even joking and i try there he is and i try to i try to keep it up as much as i can but i can't all right, got to go. Husband's going to take over. Actually, I'll let him I'll let him record himself. No.
Monday's workout gear. I'll probably end up wearing this for the rest of the week because I'll literally take it off as soon as I come home, wash it, hang it and wear it again. And that's the fit for today. All in stacks. Um, I think this one is a Ferrero Rocher and this one's the shit, chocolate fudge if I'm not mistaken but I got them from like a really local um, cafe. I'll try them tonight, give them a go. Which is actually included in the does this bread look like currently I making breakfast? I'm just going to do a scrambled egg avocado, today. toast on so sourdough like, bread uh, well, and right, the name of the sourdough is from Poles. If you guys can see that, stone baked pain de avocado. Um, cook it with a little bit of uh, reduced cholesterol butter, two eggs, yum. I'm making a chicken filling that I can use for sandwiches. Um, so I've got 80 grams of avocado or half an avocado. And then I'm going to chop up some dill in it, about let's say 20 grams of dill. So 20 grams of light mayo, mix that up and then pop in some shredded chicken over here and then mix that all up and it's like an easy, nice uh, meal prep kind of thing that you can have that you can put into salads, into macaroni pasta or even um, sandwiches and toast and like that. It's really good. So that's the avocado sauce and that's the chicken. Basically add these two together, mix it up. You can have it on your own, you can have it over potatoes, you can have it in bread, you can have it in pasta. It would be a good, great, great little addition to any dish. Also watching maths, like low key. It's recording, what the fuck? Yeah, record yourself. I was gonna turn it off so you can get some. Wait, I have to arrange my seat. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It hurts a lot, huh? I need to be here at 10 o'clock. Tomorrow? Mm hmm. Working night shift? So, can we leave early? We'll have breakfast still. I'll get you breakfast. Alright, I'll try to finish my workout. Shops. More shops. Shops. Where would my wife like to go? Coles. So out of everywhere you would like to go today, <laughs> you would like to go to Coles. Like you, no Bondi, no anything to Coles. Coles. You could tell we're married. No life. And the lines. Oh, look at that parking. <laughs> it's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it okay? The kitchen side is not There we go. A little bit of a grocery haul. Ned got himself a bottle because it's the perfect size and these ones I don't think it's like got a domed kind of base so your protein powder won't leak in it. We got some chocolate that he always gets these ones but this one specifically for a brownie that we're gonna make hopefully tonight. Just a top up of the mayo, some airwick, bathroom Italian seasoning or Italian mixed herbs because I use it for my chicken. Mozzarella for the lasagna we're going to make tomorrow. Some sour mentos in bags. <clears throat> Cottage cheese. And I think this is for the lasagna. The tin. And then just some caramel coffee syrup. <sighs> These are so handy. Okay, next bag. We have some Aussie blend, is it Aussie blend? Yeah, iceberg blend, sorry. Lettuce. The shapes are on special, so we got the mini bite salt and vinegar. Then my favorite mini bite sour cream and onion. And then Ned wanted to try the fried chicken. These are really good, this flavor. And just some original pizza. Pizza chips. Then we got some jika because when we went to breakfast, 
um, they had some juca on their sourdough toast and then we got another flavor as well so one's lemon and one's pistachio <clears throat> some almond milk ripe avocados because the ones that we have are not ripe so we got them and then what's this chicken breast supreme those slices and then we got some juice fat feta some tomatoes for the week the button mushroom is for the lasagna, or for the bolognese of the lasagna. Shallots. Uh, the capsicum green, we got red and yellow. Two packets of spud light. A packet of brown onions. And one jalapeno, fresh, because I'm going to use it for next week's meal prep. We got Thai tonight for dinner, and he got extras, like so he can use throughout the week for meal prep. And then one sweet potato, so I won't make meal prep for him this week, but next week I'll use that. And just another packet of this stuff, like just some hazelnut chocolate. We'll see them in the car. And then the lasagna sheets. We got the San Remo ones, two packets of them. I don't know if two packets is a lot but we'll see this is the br uh, brownie mix that we got and then some kidney beans and then what else this is also for is that my phone this is also for the lasagna that we got that's like roma tomato passata and then that's also for the lasagna. And then some peas and corn. Some more salamentos. They're for me when I'm in the car. I get like peckish and hungry. And I usually chew on chewing gum, but they're different. And then just some more almond milk. That is our little grocery top up. And then when we're having dinner, I'll show you dinner as well. And that'll be it for the Monday. Right now. So we got green curry, um, had CU, had Thai, pineapple fried rice, um, chili jam, and then Ned's got muscle curry. That's his like staple when he goes to Thai. With Merida for a If you only knew what you were balancing on. Update. Got some cramping. I'm going to get the ingredients out for the lasagna. The fresh produce, obviously, I'm going to leave in the fridge in a little compartment. So it's all nice and ready for me to kind of take out and use when we come back home because I forget baby brain, you know. Um, so but first, I'm going to get the mince out of the fridge. I'll show you how I keep my mince in the fridge. Yeah, you guys were like balancing off a candle. These are like where all of my meats and stuff go. That's not supposed to be there. I bought that recently, just a top up. But all of my meats are here in like little Ziploc bags. And hopefully I find one with like 250 grams. Let's see. Seems to be 250. I label them and stuff myself, so. Great, we got 250 grams of, this is I think 10% fat meat. And then I will put, Mozzarella cheese is something I'm not going to miss for sure, but we will do one onion. My fridge is so messy right now. So we'll do an onion. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep these fresh ones here, write them on the fridge so I can know. Let's do that instead. Oh, I need to wipe them off anyway because we did do shopping yesterday, as you guys saw. All right, so we will use onion, garlic, um, shallots, Mmm, parsley, um, we will use, oh shit, do I have, I do, I think I've got like chili con carne. Yeah, you know what, this tastes nice in bolognese. 
Oh, I've got a chili con carne. I'll use this one for Ned's meal prep. I'll use this one today. Ned's cottage pie. We will do stock powder recipe base. Tomato pasta. Bechamel. Did I do garlic? Yep, good. All right, I think that's it. They stay in here. We'll also do the brownies today if I can. These are the lasagna sheets, so I'll pop them there as well. Ah, uh, should we put chili in there? Yum. So I will definitely use brown onion powder, gravy. Oh, no, not gravy powder because we're using the chili con carne that already has like some cornstarch in it. But to thicken up my mince bolognese, I always, always go with brown onion powder. What else? I think that's about it. We've got the pasta. We'll grab the bechamel as well. This is just so I don't forget, guys. And then the passata, just one for now. Maybe we'll use a little bit more Ned Blobs. It's really, really, really saucy. Okay, that's my dry ingredients. I'm definitely still going to look up a recipe online, um, just to be sure, but that should be it for now. Anyway, I've got to go get changed because we're going to brunch with my mother-in-law. How good do my shoulder caps look, by the way? I just did a shoulder, chest, and back workout. Um, but yeah, that's about it for now. I'll show you guys my outfit before I leave and most likely take you along in the day, either on my phone or on my camera. I'll see how I go. It for today, shoes uh, by Puma. I don't know which ones these are, but they've got like the high tops. And then this set over here is by White Fox Boutique. This was in my last weekly vlog. I think I un unpacked it and tried it on, but this is, the fit for the entire day. Very comfortable, lightweight, flowy, beautiful for today's weather. Okay, Ned just explained the way the, he wants the lasagna because they do it at his workplace. So I'm, get, I'm going off that recipe on the Dolmio packet, but I'm going to do it in the way he wants the layers and the cheese to be done. But from the Turkish shop, we just got. Um, this is not sourdough bread. It's a different kind of bread. It looks like sourdough, but I don't know. Is this is Izmir Ekmek? Ned's mum gets it. It's really nice and soft. It looks like sourdough. You have it today. Yeah, it's crispy when you toast it. <clears throat> We're going to make um, sujuk cheese toast in the morning. Anyway, I got this for that reason as well. They're just peppers. And then I bought um, some köfte seasoning like four packets of them because this is really, really good. And then just some soup bases for Ned that I make his favorite soup with. For the lasagna, like I showed you guys in the morning, I'll run through it again. Oh, by the way, that is pepper paste, but it's like mild pepper paste. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of pepper paste, um, a teaspoon of each of these powders, which is the brown onion powder and the beef stock. 250 grams of mince. Ned wants two packets of the baby Roma tomatoes sauce, so I'll get the other one out. If it was a normal recipe, I reckon a can of this and a can of tomato sauce would work for like bolognese, but he likes his very saucy. And then what else? We did buy mushrooms for it yesterday, so I'll grab the mushrooms out now. This is gonna go in the bolognese. Oh, and this, so that's the sujuk that we got, I forgot. Didn't see that there, and then Ned got his um, cheese. Just two onions, heaps of garlic, and then we've got shallots as well. I'm also going to freeze them up, so I'll do that now. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cloves of garlic. Two onions, maybe about two or two, three um, strands of the spring onion. Lastly, I want to grab a little bit of the parsley. So just a mini little thing of parsley as well. Since my third trimester actually I've been obsessed with parsley on everything. Okay at the moment I'm just prepping up the vegetables so I've just chopped up my mushrooms and now that is the what's it called the oven preheated.
Okay, that should do. Then we'll saute the onions. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is saute your onions and straight after doing that, after they go, they go a little bit translucent, you want to add in the diced up mushrooms and do the same for that. Pop the lid on and then saute them till the water releases and soaks back up. While you're doing this, chop up your parsley, set them aside and do the same for the shallots as well. After the mushrooms and the onion looks a little bit like this, add in your mince, your parsley and your shallots. Give them a stir. Add in a tablespoon of the sweet pepper paste, a tablespoon of brown onion powder and then a tablespoon of beef stock. Give that a stir and then add in the recipe base. Stirring that once more and then add in the two jars of the passata sauces and then again stirring that and lowering the heat to simmer for about 10 minutes while you set up your lasagna tray. So the first layer you want to do with your pastry sheets, you don't need to pre-boil these. So the first layer is your pasta and then you want your bolognese layer down and then on top of the bolognese layer you want a bechamel layer. Now repeat this layer till however many layers you want. How many times can I say layer in this? But repeat this layer till however many layers you want or till your pasta packets finish or your bolognese finishes. Now the very last layer, please don't do what I did over here. I forgot to pre-boil this and it was hard. Please, for about two minutes or till they're like pasta, like you can eat through them, boil the very top layer of this lasagna and then pop it into the oven for 10 minutes and then take it out of the oven, pour some mozzarella cheese on top and then rebake it till it's crispy. After training, just come to pick up my sister's flat arrangement. It is so hot. It's like 27 degrees. But I was just inside that florist. Oh my god, that girl was so amazing. Like she was giving me a full pep talk about why do I have my She was giving me a full pep talk about, you know, having a baby and everything and how pregnancy is hard, but the birthing is gonna be harder. But like you forget everything as soon as your child's on your chest and all ah, I love it. Literally made myself a friend within like 20 minutes. She's like, you can come in, bring in the baby when the baby's born. I mean, any time to have a little chat and everything. So I did end up getting, obviously, the baby. I'll post her Instagram on the bottom of this video or on the screen right now. If you guys are in Penrith or do you want like dry flower arrangement, she's got heaps. Um, I am gonna go because I'm gonna train my clients. I'll show you the, the flowers when I'm at a red light. I'm gonna go grab some Starbucks and go home because my clients are currently on their way. And then tonight I want to go to Kmart to fix up my wardrobe. How cute is that? Her favorite color is like the purple. So we got to the purple one. There were like pink ones as well, white ones, blue ones. But she loves purple. Anyway, I will sign off here. I'm a sweaty mess. This morning when I was doing my workout, the um, my camera was with me, but. It has no battery, so I wasn't able to. Oh, it actually cut out when I was mid set. Oh, shit, that's gone forever. Okay, I will see you guys a little bit later. I also want to pop in like a little brownie recipe in this video. Should I? I mean, not that you guys can answer me. Should I keep it for next week's vlog? Hmm. We'll see. If I are, uh, maybe I won't have time today. I've got to call my dad. I've got to speak to my dad today. And then tomorrow I'm with him. And then, um, what else do I have to do today? I've got to edit a complete video. And then after editing the video, I also have to shower, tan, shower, shave and tan. I'm trying to keep whoop whoop nice and neat. So number one, I know this is TMI, but like anyone who's pregnant would totally relate. Um, because number one, just in case I may need to go for an ultrasound, like an internal one, which happened like last week or just in case um, I go into labor at any time, like maybe the baby's gonna come early. I am eight week, uh, eight months, eight months and one week. So you never know, you know? Um, or it gets really hard to shave. So when you like leave it for long, even like shaving your legs, this isn't just about, you know, downstairs. Um, but even when like it gets 
to a point where it's like, all right, time to shave. Um, it gets hard. So I try to do it not every time I have a shower, um, but every maybe like once a week kind of thing. So it's like nice and neat at all times. It was probably a little bit TMI. <laughs> But I mean, only the close ones and my OG ones, my OG girls, um, watch my videos so I can share that with you guys. Anywho, I will definitely see you guys a little bit later. I won't make the brownie today. I won't make it this week, but I'll make it in next week's weekly vlog. So stay tuned for that. And also, if you guys try my lasagna, please let me know. I loved it. It was amazing. Like we ended up, I'll leave a little um, story over here. I've got to remember to actually save the story, screenshot it. But I remember, um, I remember, uh, we were watching this Turkish YouTubers, these two men, they go around the whole of Turkey, like to all of the, the, the states and everything. Um, and they try out their, their, their meals. They'll be like, oh, this is a really high-end place and this is what's good there. They'll review it. They'll have like a nice little, you know, um, trial size banquet in front of them. And then they'll go to like street food places and then they'll trial them and everything. So we were watching that and like obviously traditional Turkish food. Oh my God, we were, our mouths were watering like there is no tomorrow at 12 something in the nighttime. Or was it 11.30? I think it was around 11.30. And then um, I'm like, did do you, do you want to go have some like a slice of lasagna and then he's like yeah i'm getting i'm getting kind of hungry and then we, we we kind of like said to ourselves like we're trying to um what's that word uh we're trying to like make ourselves feel better we're like well we did only eat half of a half of a piece so we basically ate a piece together like one whole square together and then he's like yeah you know what cut it in half put some mozzarella on mine i had no cheese on mine um, he put extra cheese on his so we ended up having some yogurt and um a slice of well, a half a slice of lasagna in the middle of the night and it was so great we went into a carb freaking food coma carb overload and went to bed but it is a more healthier kind of alternative for your lasagnas so even when you go to like italian restaurants and i'm not bashing italian restaurants at all here i go talking for five minutes straight again um i'm not bashing italian restaurants at all maybe it's the ones that we have tried i mean ned and i our love language is taking each other out to dinner or breakfast um, or brunch whatever and everywhere that we have tried we've liked their pastas even like authentic Italian pasta Ned is very picky with his food and more so than his food he's picky with his uh, pizzas and his pastas because he's and I can say this very comfortably I've tasted his pizza and his pasta he's a pro at making pizza and pasta he's been doing it ever since he was you know a teenager and um, like now he owns a business with doing pizza and pasta and all of that stuff so he is a pro he's a very big critic when it comes to that but he hasn't found um a pizza italian authentic pizza that he likes yet and a lasagna that he likes yet the only place that we've tried and i personally love it he said it's okay but the pastas that i make at home are 10 times better than that i beg to differ i reckon that pasta is absolutely bomb.com but i get the vegetarana by product of italy here in Penrith. they have one in surrey hills if i'm not mistaken but they're amazing like that's the only dish i've tried i've tried ned's dishes as well the pastas aren't so great but the one that i have and i add chicken into it mm, it is i'm getting hungry just thinking about it why have we started talking about food all of a sudden pre-completing things i'm gonna go and grab a coffee i can't wait and then train my girls Give my flowers to my sister. And yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. She loves watching me when I have a shower, but she can't do that today. This is what I've been waiting for all day. To get into this shower. A little eucalyptus hanging. It's gonna be bliss. So today will be a tanning, oh sorry, tan prep kind of day. I'm gonna do my shaving, I'm gonna do my like washing my hair deep down and then doing my skincare and then tomorrow exfoliate my face today and then tomorrow exfoliate my face with the uh, B-O-A 
exfoliator. I don't think I showed you guys, I'll show you guys when I come back out, but I got a product sent to me, so I'm gonna test it out tomorrow. And then tan tomorrow, but today is all about the shaving and preparing myself for the tan. I don't think I have recorded a single thing today. It is currently 7.30 and I just come back home. I had a full day of training again with the girls. I had four clients in total today. So Wednesday, Thursdays and Fridays are my busiest days. I have four clients back to back every single day. And then today my dad just wanted to, for me and my sister to go there just to have a little chat and everything. So I did that. I'm going to pop you guys down because my arm is actually hurting. I didn't, wasn't feeling that good this morning. Um, and I just did like a tiny upper body session. Hopefully tomorrow I'll feel better. I just didn't have energy this morning. And a lot of people on like Instagram are saying it's time for you to take it slow and everything. You're heavily pregnant. But I was telling Ned like... I don't feel heavily pregnant and even my sister said she goes it looks like you're a bit uncomfortable no I'm not uncomfortable I swear to you I'm not uncomfortable like I get tired yes I get really tired really breathless currently obviously 35 weeks like we are we are big but the only uncomfortability I have at the moment is sleeping. Like I just find sleeping uncomfortable because I'm constantly twisting and turning. But yesterday, I did end up going to Kmart. I got some storage boxes for the for my wardrobe. I'll show you a before and after of the wardrobe. Um, and I'll show you the storage boxes. Hang on. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's see-through. If it was white, I would have loved it, but it's see-through. And look, uh, Kmart, why is my legs issue? Kmart doesn't have much of a range at the moment. So I was like, it's really getting to me, just my wardrobe being like that. So I'm gonna do that right now. Yes, I'm scratching every part of my legs. They're just itchy, I shaved it yesterday. And then also hopefully do a tan tonight. I also wanna make those fudge, triple chalk fudge brownies that I was meant to make yesterday. I got this from the turkey shop. It's literally hazelnut spread. <gasps> Can't wait to develop that. But I'm going to pop on the YouTube video, put you guys on a little time lapse and get into it. I don't even have dinner. I mean, we've got meal prep, but like, do I want lasagna or do I want a frozen meal? So I have um, these frozen meals, which is good for days like today. I haven't been able to properly food prep, meal prep, nothing in the last i want to say two to three weeks i really need to like grab a body brush and just scratch the shit off these legs i think it's so itchy okay let's get into it okay so this is my current situation as you can see and then you come down i've got like my i need to wash this i washed my makeup one but then i need to wash this as well i've got like all makeup on it and stuff but this is like my wardrobe over here these boxes love them just they just look so messy they're not big enough so i'm going to declutter chuck out stuff that i don't need and also pop them into those containers and then over there i've just got like all my containers down the bottom as well but let's get into it so i'm going to watch a vlog while you guys watch me do this Right now, New Zealand, June, July, August collections. They've just been working really hard on it. Oh, yeah. All right, they look cleaner. I'll wash this a bit later. Time for dinner because this baby, this baby is hungry. I don't know what we have I lasagna for dinner. I just cut up my Kmart leggings. I had like a paint on the bottom of these. So I cut them up into like biker short style, pop this shirt on, and this is what I'll be training in today. Thank you. 
I'll show you breakfast. Mm -mm. Hey my loves, happy Friday, or whenever you guys are watching this, I've got my skin peeling over here because of my freaking pregnancy hormones. So irritating. <clears throat> I'm just going out, it's 4.38pm, I have three clients, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, um, and possibly four next week, like on those days. So I am very busy on Wednesday to Friday, but I'm just on the way to go restock the gym, as in like I have to, oh my god, why are you not focusing? I have to restock as in the sense of um, like Powerade. I give Powerade to the girls. That's not a single. Let's try this one. I'm very shaky. Let's try this one. Then I'm not in focus. There we go. Am I? I really can't tell. Hey. Um, yeah, so I just restock the gym. I buy like Powerade. Um, I get some protein bars and then um, what else do I do? Water bottles, <sighs> just stuff like that, ice and everything. So I'm going to go do that now, but I need to buy fuel because I didn't get it on Monday. I usually get it every Mondays. Um, and not that I've been to many places this week and it says reserve fuel level. So I'm going to go first off do that and then go. Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Oh, plastic cups as well. So I need to go to the Asian supermarket. Again, I'm not in focus. Sorry, guys. Oh, my baby is really low. And every time I go on a hump, I can feel her move, you know. Yeah, baby. Feel time. Where is my mask? Mission one done. All right, I shall see you guys when I am somewhere else interesting. Literally the best place in the entire universe. Alrighty, I am back home. I'm going to clean this basket and also make some brownies. I did get some kimchi from the um, Asian supermarket that I'm going to have with my dinner. But before that, I want to get this brownie on the roll because Ned's been asking for it. So I thought we'll do a little ASMR kind of bake with me. 